Oh, I think it's Steph, right? Yes. Okay, Steph, don't fuck it up. <laughs> you do that? I'll do my best. Okay. Do I look at you or do I look directly into the lens? You know what? It's whatever you want it to be. Okay. How uncomfortable do you want to make them when, you, when, you're, when they're looking into your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, let's start with your name and how do you know okay. the bride? Um, my name is Steph and I am best friends with Morgan. I met her several years ago through my other best friend, Jules, who is the sister of Nick. The groom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, it took me a second. I had to follow that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think I've got it. Um, I think you got it. What, uh, do you have a favorite memory, Morgan, or one that really stands out, or maybe like a moment you knew that you she was one of your best friends? Such a great question. I would say that, I mean, in recent history, Morgan and I have been through so much for this wedding, and it's been so fun for us. <laughs> Um, she's done an absolutely incredible job of planning the whole thing and I feel so lucky and honored to be able to be a part of it and to just like help support her and make sure that the spreadsheet has all the things we need in it. Um, <laughs> that's been so fun. But how did I, when did I know I was best friends with Morgan? I mean, honestly, immediately. Morgan is, I would say, probably like the nicest, most thoughtful, kind person I've ever met. Um, and it's really nice. She always makes space for everyone, including me. And it's been so fun to feel just like so accepted and supported by her when I know that I can be so much and so intense. Um, so almost immediately, I feel like you can't help but like be so drawn to her and like fall in love mm -hmm. with her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and especially too, like when you, when you can be a lot and you know that you're a lot for people, it's yeah. like the people who have the capacity yeah. to like handle that it's like totally. it makes you appreciate them even more totally so, totally yeah because i can be that way too mm -hmm. i'm very like in people's face totally. and like and that's like oh all right not everybody operates on this level <laughs> totally totally and you know so jules and josh got married in 2017 and they've been together forever and i remember talking to jules years and years ago before we even knew morgan about like who is nick gonna marry who's nick gonna be with like long term and i feel like there is not a person that I could imagine that would be like any better or more special than Morgan is. That's great. Um, so I feel just like so happy for him. So happy for me, but like also so happy for him. Um, Don't forget to make their day about you. Yeah, that's, always, that's always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's yeah. Re that's really great. Yeah. Um, that's one of the more thoughtful things that people have said. Because sometimes you get like more like shallow, superficial totally. answers, yeah. and you can honestly, I almost, I kind of realized too, and I didn't mean for it. I was just mm -hmm. kind of like, oh, I'll just get something to put in the video. Yeah, yeah. But I've realized that like this situation gets people when they're a little bit more vulnerable. Yeah. And then on top of that, though, too, you find out really quickly, uh, you know, like that. I think the depth of what people say totally. kind of tells you it reveals something about the friendship. Totally. It's like, do you really believe this? Because let me tell you, there are times when I'm listening to those speeches and yeah. I'm hearing those vows and it's like, I don't think these people love each other all that much. Totally. This is very like totally. stock boilerplate. Totally, totally. Well. Yeah, and I feel like Morgan especially has been so good for Nick and being able to like encourage and help him be able to express what he needs, what he wants, how he feels. Oh, yeah, it's super important. Yes, and then Nick has been so good for Morgan to just like be a safe place to land, to be comfortable, to be someone who <laughs> really sees her and loves her and supports yeah. her for who she is. Yeah, would you say it's kind of like like having a safe space to fail? Totally, yeah. totally. And having a space, safe place to be vulnerable and to be scared mm -hmm. and like to not know the right answer, yeah. to not know what the next yeah. step so is. Just sit you know? with the uncertainty. Totally, yeah, totally. Absolutely. And so that's been like so beautiful to watch them be able to find that with each other yeah. and. Because that's, I mean, what you can ask for and your best friend's finding for it. Absolutely. That's cool. Yeah. Um, that's what it's all about. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, let's see. So is there anything that you, like an overarching mm -hmm. character trait that really defines Morgan or maybe something that you really admire about her? Yeah. I so, so, so admire how kind Morgan is. And she demonstrates it in so many different ways, whether it's showing up for her friends and being and knowing like what their favorite drink is or what they're gonna need on that day after what they went through. Um, as well as being so forgiving. Like sometimes people aren't able to show up in the ways that you would want them to. And yeah. it's okay <laughs> with her. Like yeah. she is so she's so graceful. She takes everything with grace always. And like she can be so stressed and like you can't even tell. She's just like handling it and doing it. And I mean, with friends, with family, with work, like it's truly, truly incredible. And I absolutely admire it and I could never. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, what, uh, let me see what I think about it. So yeah, do you have a message that you'd like to leave for the bride and groom? <sighs> a message for the bride and groom? Um, yeah, I would just say like, I am so excited for you guys. I could not be happier for both of you to have found your person. 
Um, I am so honored and so lucky and so excited to be a part of this process, to be a part of this day. And I really look forward to being friends with you guys forever, loving you forever, and doing whatever I can to support this magical marriage. Cool. That was really great. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Yeah. My mic was off. All right, go okay. ahead. So uh, let me, what is your name and how do you know the bride? Okay. I'm Katie and the bride is my little sister. Oh, so you guys go way back. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. The real OGs. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, do you have a favorite memory with your sister? Wow. We were talking about that just the other day. Like there's, we had like kind of a rough upbringing, but, um, My favorite like memory with her would be really as adults like we took my girls and we all like Nick and Morgan and my husband and the girls we all went to Portland Oregon like just a road trip and like spent a week together and like that was that was the best memory because we we're like making memories for my kids and we didn't really get to do that as kids so we like are doing it for my kids and it's yeah. kind of fun to do that together as adults sweet yeah that's yeah. awesome um is there anything that you admire about your sister or like an overarching character trait that really stands out? Just her, like, she has the biggest heart. Like, she feels other people's feelings and, like, if someone is feeling down, like, she feels it, like, mm -hmm. deeply and she, like, cares so much that she just wants to, um, I cry, but she just, like, she cares so much about people that she wants to do anything she can to make them happy. Yeah. What, uh... Do you have a message you'd like to leave the bride with? Just, I love you guys, and I'm so happy for you, and I can't wait to make more memories with you guys together. Okay, that's great. Okay. That's everything. Cool. Super easy, right? Yes. Super easy. It's like, yeah. <laughs> the great. only place this was a lot was your mind. Great. So you're going to do great, and okay. uh, let's start with your name and how do you know the bride? Um, I'm Juliana. And I know the bride well. We work together at Buffalo Wild Wings, um, and that is also where she met Nick, who is my brother. And so we all got to work there together and get to know each other there. Are you and your brother pretty close? Yes, very close. Okay, yeah, you probably yeah, work together if you. If we work together at multiple jobs, and it's been <laughs> amazing. I love working so with him. So cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's your favorite thing about your brother? Oh. My favorite thing about my brother or you know maybe just something that stands out it doesn't have to be I feel like one of my favorite things about him is just how easygoing he is and in a way that just it's not even just that he's agreeable it's just that he makes you feel very safe and very cared for he's very thoughtful um, I feel like Nick and Morgan are both like that <laughs> um, and that, I feel like that's part of why they make a really good team. Um, just like when I'm with them, I feel like very safe and very at home. And I love spending time with them for that reason. That's great. Yeah. Um, let's see. Is there an overarching character trait that really stands out or really defines Morgan? Or is there something that you really admire about her? One of the things I admire most about her is just how thoughtful she is. Like, she is <clears throat> truly one of the most, like, considerate people I've ever known. She, the way, whenever we're talking, she's, like, wants to know if the way she's saying things, you know, feels in alignment to me and wants to make sure that she's loving me the way I want to be loved and supporting me the way I want to be supported. And, like, she's so much, like... I want to love you how you want to be loved, you know, and I, wanna, I think that's I so, meet you where you're at. Yeah, yeah, I think that's so beautiful, like, not very many people can do that, mm -hmm. and she does that, and it's so special. <laughs> God, you're going to make me cry, stop. <laughs> See? Literally, I'm in your life. <laughs> oh my God. Stop This is the sweetest person I've ever met. <laughs> no, truly. Uh, uh, okay, and let's see, do you have a special message you'd like to, or a private message you'd like to leave the bride with? Um... I just want to say, like, I love you both so much. Um, you two are truly, like, my favorite humans, and 
the time that I get to spend with you two and with Josh is the time where I feel like most at home and most at ease. And this day is like honestly one of the happiest days of my life because two people that I love so much individually are getting married and making this commitment to each other and in front of this community of people that they love. And I just, I love you both so much and I'm so, so happy for you. That was really great. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. You made me cry down here. Thank you. <laughs> same, same. Okay. I have to go after that. So, so, so yeah, can cool. you talk that? Good luck. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> I should have left the room for me. What to say to the bride and the groom. Okay. Hope you showed up ready to show up. I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's start with your name and how do you know the bride? My name is Ashley, and I met the bride at Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, did we... you also work with this band of degenerates? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely did. <laughs> um, and yeah, we basically bonded over closing shifts. We got stuck on the sim like yeah. every week. I was closing with her, and then fell in love with her yeah. immediately. So, yeah. Do you feel <laughs> like you had more time? closing shift to like actually get to know people or were you too busy usually for that? No, like there's that last like two hours where we get like, I feel like I really bonded with Morgan sometimes over like the music. Like we really loved the music that was playing <laughs> yeah. and then it just like progressed into friendship and roommates and Beautiful. all that. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah. You're totally, you're doing way better than the last interview. I don't know about her. <laughs> I heard it, oh, yeah. so you can't lie to me. <laughs> Thanks, so. though. Um, let's see, is there uh, anything that you admire about Morgan? Um, I, similarly, Morgan is honestly like the most thoughtful person that I've ever met in my entire life. Almost like to a fault, like she'll put her <laughs> needs like completely, she'll throw them away. Yeah. <laughs> just to do like anything that you need um, and that's something that I really admire about her and she's just like very compassionate and a loving yeah. friend and you want to leave a private message um, <laughs> you I love you guys you <laughs> <laughs> I'm already crying and I just I love them so much I love you both so much and I'm really happy cool this is great thanks cool <laughs> all done like, how am I gonna get speech? No, I know. I was like, already. I can't. I already said no speeches. <laughs> I can't do it. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Um, let's start with your name and how do you know Morgan? I'm Lindsay, and I also met Morgan at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> the B Wings crew. Yeah. I was new to town, and I had like two friends that I moved here with and where'd you move from um originally Florida oh, wow. and then I was living in um like Monarch and White Silver Springs for a while okay and so then, were you from like the urban part of Florida or more rural um like Sarasota it's more of like a bigger city so this is a change for sure. yes oh, yeah. yes so why, why, why Montana um my brother used to come out here and uh teach snowboarding in the winters oh okay and he was cool. like get out of Florida yeah. like come to Montana yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I did for the winter and loved it and wanted to stay for the summer. Nice. So I lived over there for a couple of years and then a couple of friends of mine are like, we're moving to Bozeman, like, let's go. I'm like, I don't have a car. Like, I can't move to a bigger city and try and get around. And then I met these girls and they're like, oh yeah, you can borrow cool. yeah. my car, we'll yeah. give you rides. <laughs> and I remember seeing Morgan and Ashley and being like, oh, I think they're so cool. Like, I want to be friends with those girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... One night, we were all just hanging out with mutual friends and been best friends since. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So how long has that been? Um, time is so hard to keep track of these days. <laughs> um, I think it's been like six or seven years now. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, I tell you, you probably don't work at Ewing's anymore, do you? No, I moved back to Florida. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Went to school, I'm doing the surgical technology. Cool. Working in the hospital. Nice. Oh, yeah. More chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, uh, hopefully that day, the end comes for everybody. <laughs> they yeah. only so many chicken wings you can handle, and it's like... Yeah, I don't even eat chicken anymore. <laughs> yeah, right, don't blame me for that. 
Um, let's see, is there a overarching character trait that really defines Morgan or something that you really admire about him? Um, basically, as the other girl said, she is the most caring person that I've ever met. And she will go above and beyond for her friends to make sure that they're happy. And she will put her own happiness aside to make sure that her friends are okay. And I think that's, you know, really she, she needs to keep her own happiness there, you totally, know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she does whatever she can for her friends. Well, it's really, you know, when you feel that support from somebody, too, that's a really powerful thing. Yeah, and I think that makes all of our friendship a stronger bond because, you know, I would do anything for that girl. Yeah. I, you know, traveled from Florida to be here. I'm like, yeah. I will not miss this day yeah, yeah, yeah. for anything. Do you have a favorite memory with her in particular? Oh, man. Or is there anything that, like, it may be an overarching theme that stands out? There's... There's too many. There's never a dull time with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. It's like every time we get together, we're laughing hysterically at something or just being silly. And concerts are always fun with yeah, her. No, like great. everything, that's, I that's there's awesome. not one thing. It's yeah, it's always fun. Every second that I'm with her is like the best day of my life. <laughs> Do you have a message you'd like to leave the bride and groom? It's fine if you don't. I'm so happy for you guys, and I'm so blessed to be able to be here for your guys' big special day. And I'm glad that you guys have found the love that you found. It's rare. I'm very happy for you. Love you guys. Cool. That was great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are we going to clap at the end, too? <laughs> you can if you want to. All right, uh, so let's start with your name and how do you know the groom? Uh, okay, my name is Josh. I am uh, Nick's brother-in-law. Okay. How long have you guys known each other? Uh, well, uh, about, well, 10 years, and, and technically longer than that, but we didn't really, like, we didn't know each other super well before. Yeah, like, you had an awareness to their presence. <laughs> they were, exactly. Like, was very yeah. Um, so do you have a favorite memory with Nick? Um, let's see. Um, not the dirty one. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably, uh, definitely one of my favorites was, uh, last summer, um, when him and Morgan came to visit us in, uh, Portland and, like, we went to the coast for a few days. Um, yeah, that was, that was a really, really fun trip, so. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, is there uh, an overarching character trait that really like defines Nick or anything that you really admire about him? Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, yeah, I'm honestly coming up pretty blank. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I would say um, he's just really uh, like good-hearted. I guess is kind of the main thing. Like he's really just like. Uh, Kind of genuine, like sincere. Maybe. Yeah, really. Yeah, sincere. Kind of like all around good guy. So that's yeah, great. That's important. Um, and do you have a message you'd like to leave the bride and groom? Um, I just that uh, I love you guys very much, and uh, I hope I know you guys are gonna make each other really happy. And um, yeah, cool. That's awesome. Thanks. Who's next? Cool. So why not? So what? I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Bass is a screen for me. Right. <laughs> scary scenario. I'm sure we could turn this into a drinking game. Holy shit. <laughs> I can only sit down so many times before this thing fucking pops. Alright. You do it alright? Yeah, dude. Um, um, alright, so let's start with your name and how do you know the groom? Uh, my name is Evan. I know the groom from uh, high school and middle school. We became good friends in 8th uh, grade. Okay. Uh, are there any, is there a memory that stands out in particular? One that, a uh, favorite memory that you have? Yeah, my favorite memory was actually when uh, we were going to visit Josh and Jewel. I, I made an unplanned joining of myself to the group in, uh, back uh, in like 2017 or something. Nice. And uh, Was that unplanned? I thought it was planned. Well, I mean, it was planned, but I mean, I kind of like, it's like, hey, can I come? Okay, you know? gotcha. yeah. And, uh, 
when Morgan was playing a game with us and screwed it up so bad, we were just laughing our ass off. I really enjoyed that time. So, cool. Yeah. That's my favorite memory. Um, is there anything that you admire about Nick? Yeah, I think the thing I admire most about him is he's very thoughtful and uh, he's very middle of the road when it comes to taking sides. He doesn't take any sides, which you know can get you mad sometimes. But it's also <laughs> something to really admire to not be able to take some. some Do you side. feel like he sees the bigger picture? Yeah. Okay. Oh, big time. Yeah. Cool. He's a smarter man than me, so. <laughs> Uh, do you have a message you'd like to leave for the bride and groom? Yeah, I hope uh, you guys have a good honeymoon. I hope uh, everything turns out as uh, well as I believe it will. And I uh, love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. That was great. Thank you. All right. All right. Whoever's next? I guess I'm up next in line. All right. <laughs> Drake's coming. You remember that poem? <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. What? I just couldn't stop it, actually. Oh, okay. We were playing cards. Alrighty, so name and how do you know the groom? Name's Tristan Anaker. Uh, I know the groom we went to high school together, but really started knowing him when we worked at Sweet Chili's together. What's Sweet Chili's? It's a restaurant. We nice. both worked in the kitchen with Josh. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a favorite memory of Nick? Yeah, you know, a lot of the things that we like to do is uh, go on backpacking, hiking adventures, and just some of the we turn death marches and <laughs> how that has turned really yeah. really terrible but in a very humorous way and just those are probably my favorite memories cool. with him. Hell yeah. Um, anything that you admire about him? Yeah, I think he's just a I mean many things, but I think the main thing is he's just a trustworthy person. Very few people that I think are anywhere close to as trustworthy as him and you know, I feel like if he says something he follows through and, you know, holds stuff close to himself and I think Anyone here will say they probably have some secrets with him. And he's never shared yours with me, so, you know, and I think that's just the type of person he is. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, you want to leave a message for Brad and Drew? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah, no. No, cool. <laughs> no, no. Just uh, love you guys. I think both of you are great for each other. You know, I think I definitely tell that Nick is beyond fond of Morgan, you know, and any experience I've had with him. And, I think that's just an awesome place to be, and I'm sure Morgan's the same way. And yeah, love you guys. Cool, that was great. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't, I didn't have the record button on. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, that's all we got. I only have so much love to give. Yeah, we hit my max. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, man. Uh, what is your name, and how do you know the groom? Dylan Barrett, and he's going to marry my sister in law. Okay. Do you have a favorite memory with Nick? Uh, probably the week trip we took to Portland, when saw the coast and did a Bunch of fun shit on the way there and back. Nice. Okay. Uh, anything that you admire about? No. I'm just, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a really good dude. Quiet, just like me. So nice. I respect that. Yeah, totally. Um, and message that you'd like to leave? Uh, love you guys and make the best of it. Awesome. I'm sorry. Can you? One more time. Uh, what's your name and how do you know the groom? Uh, my name is Levi Waller, and I've known the uh, groom since first grade. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a favorite memory, memory with Nick? You know, we uh, did a lot of fun stuff together. Uh, Flathead Lutheran Bible Camp, um, you know, traveling around the lake on a boat it was a lot of fun. So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any overarching character traits that really stand out about Nick or anything that you really admire about him? He's honest as the day is long. Very consistently. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Even when it hurts. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. 
Um, and do you have a message you'd like to leave for anything? You know, <clears throat> I hope that everything works out, and uh, I hope that this marriage lasts a long time. Cool. That was great. Thank you. You were worried someone wasn't ready to drive? Yeah. Like, yeah. Able to drive, I guess? I was, I think I was, like, going to take a couple of them. Okay. Good. You never Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah and let's get let's do the necklace and the. Yeah, when you push it you want me like? Yeah, so you're gonna be behind her, on putting her? it on. Or like uh, stepping. No, definitely on her right side because I want to be able to see you in the mirror. And then, is there a way that we can almost stand that up a little straighter? If someone like hid behind it, probably. You want to hold it? <laughs> yeah, that might Small actually. Person. Oh yeah, yeah if somebody perfect. could hold it like that, that would You're be perfect. perfect yes. Oh my god. I volunteer for that job. And she does something. Here, let me else. undo it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't really have to clasp it. It just needs Thank to be you. a bow. I kept feeling it. Okay. Ready? We all had to borrow Steph's fingers. <laughs> 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 Major fingers. I can't close to this. Yeah. Oh, that's a <laughs> Morgan, look. My camera lens in the mirror and wink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just for fun. Come on. Don't be weird. <laughs> <laughs> don't be weird. I also like don't know how to wink, so. Same. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Hopefully that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know how to hold it. Oh. All right. They are kind All right, of like um, weird. So I get, yeah, maybe right I'm gonna get a close. Something no, no, no. Like that. Like falling through. I know. I love that dress. Where'd you get close, it? Uh, you, you just kind of just mess anything, with like, your necklace for just a half a second. Just almost. Smile. I thought you were local, I guess. I used cologne. Okay. Do you have any cologne? Oh, or, uh, no. Excuse me, perfume. I don't. No, I'm good. We can keep moving. Go ahead and do so your Josh, suspenders. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just by myself. I yeah, I don't think Josh. I think okay. you're good, Josh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get on your knees and. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Um, right. Here, let me. I'm gonna fix your collar up for you. Okay. Thank you. those on and then after you tighten them up kind of do that thing with your thumb so you know what I'm talking about uh oh like this thing yeah yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. go ahead and cinch them up So the front. Oh, you do these up here. Up here. Oh, because this is what's going on here. Oh, because it's backwards. That's right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There we go. Cool. It was just on backwards. Oh, oh perfect. Okay. There we go. Look out the 
not go too far. How far? You could drive all the way to Taco Bell. Shoes yeah, or um, kind of jacket I would do jacket. Okay. Yeah, I'd do jacket real quick. Cool. <coughs> and maybe, uh, maybe shoes. let's get another one of your groomsmen in here. Help uh, put that on. Or Tristan. Uh, uh, yeah, because I got you helping him with the suspenders. So, yeah. Cool. What do you need? Uh, just help him put his jacket on. Come here, Nick. <laughs> Where's right. your jacket? What we, oh, it's in the bathroom. <laughs> Shoes or just kind of sit here? No, just go ahead, put on the shoes. Okay, okay. Yeah, do what you normally do. Cool. Don't worry about me. Okay. Oh, she's not saying you're going to sit. Is it too high? Yeah, it's a little high. Let's have a little too high. Here. What is Victoria doing? Nike. All right. Are you ready, Morgan? Mom. What is Victoria doing? Hold on. What is Victoria um, doing? One of you girls want to come up here. I think she told her yeah, to be there. there so does Does Morgan want Victoria and, in this? Um, I don't know. Oh. No. oh. Do you want? Uh, hold on. Do you want who? Victoria in your first Victoria. Look? No. No. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Then we're yeah. Let's go. Hold on. Oh. She needs to get right out of there. the zebra. Oh. Victoria, get out, please. No. Okay. No. This is the first look for you and only. Okay. I'm sorry. No. No. Get out. <laughs> You're a mother. Thanks. Love you. Okay, now we're good. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm ready if you are, Morgan. You know what, Morgan, I have to say, I really, really like your dress. It's very unique. All right. Oh, huh? Me? Yeah, am I, over, am, am I out of your shot if I'm over here? Am I gonna be in your shot over here? Yeah. Oh, and then um, I want to turn, I want to move, I want to move with them. So why don't you tap him on the right shoulder and you're going to turn to your right and I'm going to. Okay. Or is that going to, am I doing that the wrong way? Am I going to be in your shot? Let's just, let's just. So I just want to move with him as he turns around. Okay. All right.
That was great. I'll let you go first. So you kind of. Is this too fast? No, this is great. Okay. And please be seated. As another reminder, please make sure to turn off and put away all cell phones. Okay. Weddings often start with the words, dearly beloved. And that is actually referring to all of you. For you are all dearly loved by Nick and Morgan. My name is Victoria. And I have the honor of being your officiant today. We are gathered here today with community and family to both witness and bless the marriage of Morgan Lee McLeese and Nicholas Earl Kilmurray as they join their lives together in marriage. You have all been an important part of their lives, in their stories, and in their history, and they look forward to your continued love and support in the future 
as they journey on through this life together as husband and wife. Morgan and Nick have been through some big transitions together over the years, and I'm proud to say that they have always strived to put each other first. They complement each other beautifully in terms of temperament and energy, with a balance of structure and calm, as well as freedom and space. Most of all, they are unfailingly kind to one another. They have big goals for their lives, and I think we can all agree that together as partners, they will be unstoppable. Morgan and Nick, your marriage will no doubt be filled with surprises. Some you will welcome, while others will test the strength and the flexibility of your bond. May you be compassionate with each other and nurture yourselves, your family, and this union with intention as a living reflection of your shared values. Lead with your hearts and continue to take the time to do those simple things that nurture your love. Deeply listen to each other, listen to your dreams as well as your frustrations, and be the first to reach out after disagreement when you can. Be helpmates, be playful in finding ways to refresh and express your love to each other every day. Your love has brought us all here together today. May it grow deeper and sweeter with each passing year. And now it's time for us to exchange vows. So we'll need the vows for Nick and Morgan. Thank you. Nick's gonna go first. Love, you never stop surprising me with how special you are. <sighs> You're the most beautiful person inside and out, and you always carry a positive and calming energy with you. I love how easy it is to live my life with you, and I love how much fun we have together, even when we aren't doing anything. You're the best friend, partner, and cat mom I can imagine. You've always supported me, trusted me, have been patient with me, and have loved me unconditionally. You've always stood by my side and helped me become a better person. Your kindness, generosity, and care for others is part of what makes you so special. I admire you so much because the values you live by so well are those that I value the most. I couldn't be happier with the life and family we have together, the memories that we have made, and for the memories that we have yet to make together. I will strive to bring as much joy into your life as you brought into mine and to always support you, encourage you, so that you can keep making the world a better place. I promise to respect you, to be faithful to you, honest to you, and to do my best to bring happiness into your life every single day. I promise to support you as much as possible in your pursuits, to listen to you when you need someone to talk to, to help you whenever you need it, and to always let you know how much I love you with my words and my actions. I promise to never stop striving to be your best friend, teammate, husband, and to never stop loving you for the rest of our lives. I love you. my Nicholas, my monkey, my love. From the moment I met you, three things were very clear to me. You were undeniably handsome, extremely kind, and without a doubt, the funniest person I will ever meet. From the moment I fell in love with you, again, three things were very clear to me. You are my soulmate, my very best friend, you are the greatest person in the entire world, and no matter where life takes us, you are my home. I have never known as much joy, as much laughter, as much comfort, and as much love before finding you. Each and every day, I promise to love you, to support you, to make you laugh, to teach you and to learn from you to grow with you, and to find the greatest happiness in every little moment. To choose you every single day is the easiest and most rewarding commitment I will ever make. You are the best cat dad, <laughs> the best partner in life, 
and you have the best heart I have ever known. Thank you for loving me so well, for showing me the capacity of my heart, and for holding it with such tenderness. Thank you for this life, for everything it is, and everything it will be. I love you forever. Love you. Okay. Tough parts over. <laughs> All right. Moving on to rings. May I have Morgan's ring, Maddie? Let me, let me give you back your box. Hand that to me. Hand that to me. Okay. Groom, please place the ring on your bride's finger and repeat after me. Let this ring always be a reminder. Let this ring always be a reminder. Of my everlasting love and promises to you. Of my everlasting love and promises to you. I give you all that I have. I give you all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Okay. And now we're ready for Morgan's ring for Nick. Please place the ring on your groom's finger and repeat after me. Let this ring always be a reminder. Let this ring always be a reminder. Of my everlasting love and promises to you. Of my everlasting love and promises to you. I give you all that I have. I give you all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. We, this community, under these beautiful cottonwood trees, give today our blessing upon the marriage of Nick and Morgan. We have witnessed the vows they have spoken and the love in which they are now united. May every trial reveal their loyalty and strength. May their home be a place of safety, laughter, and peace, even in times of difficulty a haven of healing and forgiveness. May Nick and Morgan, their friends and family, be lifted up in the light of love this day and always. Nicholas and Morgan, because you have committed yourselves to each other in marriage and demonstrated this by the exchanging of vows and in the giving of rings before witnesses and myself, by the power vested in me and by the state of Montana and as your mother, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Groom, you may kiss the bride. Like over here? Yep. Yeah, 
Okay. okay. Look right here, everybody. One, two, three. Couple more. One of the little ones. Spence. Well, on the other Spence, side yeah, the blue would look nice over here. Yeah. yeah. Great. Thank you. Do you want your little thing back? Yeah, no. Or just Spence? Yeah, yeah. So, but I wouldn't hold it like that. Hold it with one hand like this, Spence. That's cute. No, like this. Overhand. Yeah. Put your hand over. Overhand. Over. That's, yeah. yeah. So there we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, then cuddle in nice and close. Okay. A little close. Yeah. We're all just yeah. Off. Cute. Look right here. One more. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna switch you guys. So we're gonna go to the She's like, she was like, Ha, ha, ha. 
Same way and get in nice and close. Uh, oh, like this? Um, not quite. Right. <laughs> just, just come. Oh, like, like this way? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's not This should just hand be here. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm Everyone's facing this way. You guys are facing this way. Not because I don't love you. There you go. I don't know what to do with this arm. Morgan and Nick, you face each other. Morgan and Nick, like, like belly to belly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, now oh, I don't know what to look at. Uh, yeah, we're we're looking. Looking. Okay, we're looking at Morgan and Nick. I think you were. Look at that. I did like one of each. I looked this way, I looked that way. Okay. Yeah. We're in the moment. It's fine. Okay. So, last one, we're going to do the last one. So girls, you can hold your dresses, you can link arms, you can, but everyone just stay on the same plane. Like, like stay in a line. Together. Together. Yeah. No, no, we're holding Please, Everyone do oh. something different. Okay. So. Yeah, I'll just be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no one else, no, you can't. Looking I, I'll, at I'll each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hold my dress and be out there. Don't look at each other. Don't walk and look at each other. I'll just cross my arms and stay still. Yeah. Wait, no, at the, at the, at, no, at the camera, at the camera. Remember yeah. how in the intro? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, right on this. No, just Nick at the camera. Yeah, everyone else doing some. Oh, okay. Now make it sexy. Ready? Oh, okay. Do you look Set. serious or laugh? Serious. Are you looking away or are you? Uh, away. Perfect. Okay. I add cinematic okay. effect to it. <laughs> oh. Kill Murray's. Now 
know you guys are gonna be in a line, walking towards me. Same thing, don't look at me. Look from side to side. Chat. Ready? Go. Yeah. Remember that conversation about clouds we had, Nick? That was a good conversation to have. One more time. Step all the way. More of a runway. Ready? I think it's kind of weird when I look in this direction. Oh, it's just like, yeah, what am I looking at out here? Yeah, but you know. Get the hands forward, you know, looking Let's like a Let's do an individual. Okay. So, No, oh, no, no, no. I just kind of like, I've noticed. Like to grab snippets? Yeah, because it's like, I, it might not be very meaningful. Yeah, I've got a mic on here. It's not going to be the best sound. It's one of those things that like, it might not be anything meaningful right yeah. now today, totally. but there might come a point where it's like, being able to see anything from this day in your life, oh, yeah. even yeah. if it's just like, small talk, yeah, is totally. precious in its, it's own yeah. way. It's going to be a yeah. so. So, so I've been I've been trying to do more of just like fly on the wall documenting. Yeah, totally. So if at any point you're not in, if like I'm documenting something that you don't want me to, just tell me. <laughs> okay. Happy to turn it off. Morgan, do you want to sign it at this table? Nick and Morgan, yeah. you amazing. Well, do you want it like on your lap? We'll do it on our lap because I like the couch. Okay. If that's okay. I'm supposed yeah. to bring this laptop yeah. here. And yes. Yes. Perfect. So we can so sign fine. on it because I like the couch. Oh, you can. Who signs it first? Us? Witnesses and officiant? Yeah. Okay. Witnesses so definitely I don't think it matters so who signs it. Oh, it doesn't matter. You okay. just turn it in. No one knows. That's oh. true. Hey, hold on. Like hold I'm gonna get. You want me to scoot over a little bit? No, you're nope. good right okay. where you're at. But I just want to get like right in between you guys here. Yeah. Spouse angle. one. Me? Yeah. Oh. Me? We'll make you spouse Ooh. one. So you sign here, and okay. then I sign there. I haven't been practicing Michael Murray. Oh. Yeah, I was put on the spot with that. I don't even know how to find it. Are you serious? There you go. Hey, we guys kiss really quick. There's lots of berries. We meet when you let me know. That's great. Thanks. I'm Morgan Kill. It is. Should I put the date in?
Beautiful. All right, wow. witnesses. You want to come on in? Who? So my stepfather who owns this hey, property. Hey, you know what? Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> He's not the only one. One of it's us is living. I want to shake that man's hand before the night's over. Yeah. Good for him. Two people that check themselves out of the hospital will be here. His sister did too. She's like, yeah, I'm going to be there. So. I mean, they're not like seriously putting themselves at risk, are they? He's kind of at this point of like... I mean, it was the the doctors reluctantly released her, so right. it did, they didn't do like AMA or anything. All right, guys. Yeah, some commitment though, for sure. Perfect. Like we will be there. All right, it is done. Yeah. Yay. We are signed. Okay, so now it's time for your ice cream. Is it what's the time? Five thirty-five. Yeah, rushing it on time. Yeah, five forty-five. Okay. The newlyweds, Nick and Morgan Kilmer.
Next up, we have Jules and Dylan. Bless them with much happiness and good health, and may their home be a blessing of uh, peace and a place of joy for all who enter in. And be with those whose work has come to this day and who has made it possible. Be with all who have worked hard to prepare this meal, and be with those this day whose plates are empty. Bless this food that it will strengthen each of us for the duties of today. All this we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Okay. Good evening. Thank you all for being here. Um, I have a really exciting announcement. Toasts are starting, so I can have your attention. I'm going to pass the mic to our very sweet maid of honor, Katie. Okay. Hello, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, 
I'm Josh. I've had the I've had the privilege of knowing Nick for 10 years now. Not only is he my brother-in-law, but one of my closest friends, and it is such a great honor to be his best man. We have always been there for each other and continue to grow closer every year. I have always looked up to him. He is an incredibly easygoing, altruistic, driven, and funny person, the type of person that everybody likes. Spending time with Nick and Morgan is always so fun and effortless, whether we are camping in Glacier, exploring the Oregon coast, or just spending the night in, gleaning some life lessons from Vanderpump rules. I guess it really wasn't about the pasta after all. Nick and I can always count on each other to laugh at the other's stupid jokes, just as much as we can count on Jules and Morgan to roll their eyes. <laughs> Nick and Morgan are also the only people who get as excited as I do to see a cute picture of my cats. Morgan, I am so excited for you to join our family and to get to call you my sister. It has truly been a pleasure to build memories, spend time with you, and get to know you more and more over these past five years. You are such a kind, considerate, and good-hearted person. Nick and Morgan, you are two of the greatest people I have ever met. I am so glad you both found each other and feel so lucky to have you have both of you in my life. I love you guys both so much, so cheers everybody to these new ones. and to 
watch your relationships strengthen and grow. The quality time we get to spend together is a precious gift. I only hope that as we continue to grow, we will get better at deciding where to eat. <laughs> My hope for you both on this beautiful day is that your marriage is always a place where you seek to see, understand, and love each other. I hope that when you accidentally hurt each other in the way that all humans in close relationships are bound to do, that you can view it as an opportunity for deeper healing, growth, and connection. I hope that you will always lean on each other, but I hope that you will lean on this beautiful community of yours as well. We are stronger together. I know, without a doubt, that you will make each other so happy. But more importantly, I know that you will make your cats very happy. <laughs> What's more important than that? I love you both so much.
I'll give you a couple stories. I was a uh, uh, had had trouble in high school, like everybody has. But uh, specifically with the football team, I was not well liked. But Nick always had my back, and he was always there for me. Always uh, defended me, even when I wasn't there. And that's the that's the, the value of a real friend: is a friend who will defend you when you're not there. And another another good quality. Uh, another good story is, uh, you know, we I had a fight with my all of my friend group uh, when I was in high school, and even though some of my friends wouldn't sit with me at lunch, Nick would always find the time to come sit with me and talk with me. It really pissed me off at the time, but he would never take sides, and that's another value that uh, I have with Nick is his ability to stay in the moment and not choose sides. And, uh, and that's another value I, I really like about him. Another one is his uh, conviction to get things done. When, uh, when Nick and I separated in high school, uh, I wasn't sure how the friendship would last, being that it was about a year and a half before we uh, got together again. But uh, when we got back together, it started up uh, just as normal. You know, it's like we didn't miss a freaking day. And that was that was really one of my one of my biggest fears coming back to Bozeman when I when I came back from, from my first break in college was how long my friendships would be and Nick Nick stuck my be there. Um, but we we grew together and his I saw his passion for finance. So I'm I'm a I'm a loser and I also have well, a passion. I'm not a loser. I know, but I have a passion for finance. And who would who would think that? But uh, Nick and I bond over that now quite frequently and have long discussions about that, and I really value that. Um, and finally, the last thing, everybody said this, but he is probably one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet. There's no one on this earth that I would rather hang out with than Nick Kilmurray. Yeah. He is one of the funniest guys. He always knows when to crack a joke. No shit. And I do appreciate him for that. So let's raise our glasses. All right. Raise our glasses. May their loving marriage be full of loyalty, compassion, commitment, and friendship and happiness. And love. I said love first. Cheers.
he does his best. And then you might get the guy that comes along and says, boy, I got, I got the best option for you right now. Well, they might say, you know, I really appreciate your offer, but uh, I think I'll go home and have supper with my wife. So those, those who throw dirt on you ain't always trying to hurt you. Those playing out the jam ain't always trying to help you. Keep that in mind. And the biggest part of the story is, when you're up to your eyeballs and shit, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Anybody else want to say anything? We got one more. Okay.
You guys are all Is there anything you need? Um, no, I'm good. And I would also like to say, as somebody who's not wearing his, isn't as covered, the mosquitoes are gnarly as fuck out here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. I know. They're evil. All right. So. You press us. All right, we well, do have to keep doing photos. <laughs> but I love the hugs. We do have to keep doing photos, okay? She's like, no. She's like, please, no. Good couple. I think that I would love it if we kept you guys just kept walking and walked across the bridge and that would kind of be like 
the close out of the video. Okay. You see that? Because yeah. when I was just getting you guys right here behind, I, uh, yeah, it was yeah. looking really good. So, you want yeah. to be in front of them or No, I'm going to be behind, so if you could stay okay. with me, that would be yeah. great. So yeah, just walk, just walk across the bridge and off, uh, like, just straight off, and I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, okay. All right, and cut. It was great. Thank you. Like this song playing is like <laughs> oh that's right. So good. Yep, keep going. Nick, is it like a possibility? Can you pull it super up and like swing her around? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, don't fall. Good. Yay! That was Whoa, perfect. Whoa. That was a lot of spin. <laughs> yeah. I did not expect that. Whoa! I love it. Okay, one more thing in front of the phone. I'm so okay. dizzy now. Yeah. Just go with the big foot one. I'm going to have you just hold me facing me. Straight on at me. Oops. This is like, <laughs> who knows? Seth was brushing it with a fork earlier. So, <laughs> to help me, we needed a wide tooth comb. <laughs> Straight to the side, so Nick, you're gonna look that way. Morgan, look that way. Yep. Hold that. Oh, left. Yeah. Okay, awesome. The next thing, I just wanna find a little light. It took me a little bit to figure out those directions that you gave me because yeah, it's like confusing. it says it's like down the street and I'm like what?
Nick, I'm gonna have you, I want you to like, go up and kind of grab her face like you would like me. Yeah, and then you know, usually when we have like global recessions, global slowdowns like we do now, the dollar rallies, which we've seen. Right. So right. on the next side of that cycle, when the Fed yep. starts to ease, the dollar theoretically okay. should okay. weaken as yep. usually yep. 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 All right, I'm gonna give you some cardio. So okay. sorry, you gotta run. Okay. I'm gonna have you. Do you wanna get up there with me? Yeah, I would love to. And I'm gonna have them like slow jog at me okay. and look at each other. You get the slow jog one? Yeah. So <laughs> no. Okay. I think I'm just going to let them walk into focus too. Okay. Yep. That would be a really nice... Look at each other. That was pretty good! <laughs> Oh, that sucks. No, no, you guys are fine. No, I wish I, it's not even that. I wish you guys were both what at the same time. And that would have been, that was so funny. God damn it.
I feel like you're gonna smell her hair. It's nice and it looks weird. Like you're gonna take a deep breath of her, yeah. And just close your eyes, Morgan. guys so make sure I'm recording with this mic so make sure that you speak up when you talk all right all right so do you know what you want to say or did you want me to ask you questions like oh okay so what are well actually let's go over here because it's a little quieter sorry yeah just right by the tree here all right so what are your guys's names Okay, and Maddie and Spencer, how do you guys know Morgan and Nick? Uh, well, um, she's our mom's sister, so she's our aunt. <laughs> so Nick's your uncle now, right? Uh -huh. Cool. Is there anything that you guys admire about your aunt and uncle? Um. Or that you really, really like? We love them. I like that my aunt is just, like, always there for everyone. Yeah, it's important, isn't it? Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite memory with them? Um, Make sure you speak up. My favorite memory with them is we went we went to Portland together. Yeah. And, and that was really fun. Yeah. Um, do you have anything that you want to say to them? I love them both, and I just, I love them both too, and I'm happy that they have each other. So. Yeah, that's great. Is there anything else you guys want to say? No. All right, well, that's everything. Great job, guys. Nice work. How can I get that?